All right, after many long months of ADV, it's time we used real Pokemon again. Uh, it's draft review day. Uh, hello. Uh, we're back again. Uh, Brian is here. Corey is here. Yo, what's up? Hello, everybody. And we're gonna we're gonna talk about the teams that got drafted. Uh, we did a draft last night, so this is all kind of fresh in our heads. Uh, so we're gonna make some wildly hot takes that are probably going to be wrong, uh, but it'll be fun to talk about anyway. So we'll uh, we'll get started. We'll talk about Will's team. Will had the first pick, and uh, he took Iron Bundle first overall. And then went with a very iron themed team, which is honestly really funny. Completely coincidental too. I'm sure he did not expect to come back and see Iron Boulder available for him on like pick 33. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Which is just kind of insane. But hey, you know, that's fine. It worked out for him. Uh, but yeah, I I think his team's cool. Uh, I think it's gonna have real good matchups. <clears throat> and it's gonna have real bad matchups. Uh yeah. Uh, really, really insightful commentary there. <laughs> yeah, I just, I did, I guess, I just noticed that he got, uh, he got torn on this team, which I think is going to be one of his saving graces, having a kind of defensive pivot with Regenerator mm -hmm. uh, to just kind of swap in between his busted attackers. Yeah, and, and with his big, uh, his big dudes up all at the top, kind of being weak to rock or being weak to the ground more so, right? Um, at least Tornadus there, you can come in and attempt to give you into those hits yeah, at the same time i'm not really sure his team wants like the what the tailwind and the weather that it sets up so much it just would like the regenerator pivoting yeah yep so you get the torrent torrent has knockoff still so you get, the, you get the knock you get the u-turn mm -hmm. i mean you know hurricane's pretty strong i mean you know tor torn is torn he just doesn't have defog which kind of sucks but he's got hazard control with uh treads with treads yeah and then I think Will did save his draft a little bit by getting Dondozo solely into it. Um, like, it's a really strong team, but just having probably one of the strongest walls in the tier. That's true. At a pretty cheap price. Yeah, it gives you a good Sorry. check to some broken guys like Annihilate. You know, yeah. It's like you can't, like, I mean, obviously the Rage Fist, but, like, if he's doing bulk up, like, you can't just, you know, yep. get, get bulk And any, anybody trying to Dragon Dance sweep will just simply not versus yep. Dondozo, so it's nice to see. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have, I think yeah. Flapple it too for his like little gimmick pick, and I think I think that's actually pretty heat. I think Flapple's funny. I don't know if he meant to like make a Flapple or leave a core, but hey, you know. <laughs> uh, I think we we looked at it last night. Necrozma does get gravity, so he has the funny uh, graph apple thing. Graph apple gravity yeah. could be funny. And then uh, Iron Hands can run. Uh, what's that? What's that new move? The super soft super slam. Upper hand. The, upper the hand. Oh, oh, upper hand. No, 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 He gets both. Yeah. Uh, I was mostly talking about the, the electric high jump kick. That kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he could do that for memes. Uh, but that's, he, that's he really it. You really could. <laughs> could you know. uh, but yeah, I think uh, Will's got a solid squad. You know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, but then we get to David's team. And uh, we, were, we were talking about it before we started recording. Uh, I think David has the best team. Uh, yeah, just because, like, Dragapult, Blood Moon... Ogre Pond is incredibly impressive. Uh, there's just some big dudes there that do big damage. And Corviknight just walls everybody else. Yeah, it's going to be a really, really annoying thing to try and break. Because if you're trying to kill Ursaluna with some like grass move or something, you know, he just goes into Corv, blocks it again, you turn pivot into his other dudes. Um, can even do Trick Room if he wants with the Screamtail pickup. And he has Vika Volt for Trick Room as well, so... I didn't even think of Vicky Volt for Trick Room, honestly. I was just yeah. thinking, oh, he's got a sticky web now. Yeah, I think he's he got that. He's got that too. Web. Which is like, dude, like Blood Moon, you put a little bit of speed in him, put down a sticky web, like that guy's crazy. Ugh, yeah. I don't want to think about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, plus, you know, Trachyon is here. He's been memed a lot recently, but like, that's still Tarak, and I will not listen to Slander mm -hmm. about him. And he picked up a, uh, a Heater Mon from the previous video in uh cryogonal true he did cryogonal is awesome who i think really does help this team if he wants to bring it just because like those top three four mons really don't do too well into ice especially if they have freeze dry coverage so having cryogonal there to have recovering just whatever monstrous stats it has you know and after it got buffed even so That's very true. excited for that to hold the team together without having you know force a tear out of one of his uh 
support mons and even more so his top two mons is being unable to tear away from their ice weakness at all. Mm -hmm. True, yeah. Yeah, so. ice is looking very strong offensively uh, across a lot of these teams uh, that we'll, we'll get into. But David's team definitely looking to be... Um, God, I hate that team name, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess we got to talk about the team, because uh, we have 15 out of 16 uh, yeah. of the team names. Uh, Killing Tree, uh, he's not giving. He will kill you. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know. I thought Fez and Drippity was pretty funny. Yeah, I'm a big fan. It's an, it's an 11.30 p.m. night kind of funny team name. Yeah, I mean, that's what all of these are. <laughs> True. Uh, so, Brian, we'll talk about your team. I got two Fionns. Yeah, I got two Fionns. Uh we're gonna pretend they're Corian to be on today. Tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not. Uh, I was just listening to that song for the first time, so I'm not able to, to cue it off my memory yet. You got to help me out with that. <laughs> You've never listened to two phone, two phones. Never. That no, no, like I had to look it up. I had to go. Well, everyone knows this reference except for me. So That's crazy. I know. It's. I didn't realize. But everyone liked it so much, I had to run with it. I know. It's... And uh, we're gonna try and use Fion a bit. We're gonna figure it out this season. Yeah. But that's not the star of the show. The star of the show is that first pickup there. I'm sure everyone's going to be ready for. Um, yeah, or if they're not ready for, it's going to have a, a if less you're not fun ready time. For an you will just lose. Yep. Uh, and, then of course, and I'm certainly no Annihilate master. I wasn't on the, you know, VGC, Reg A, Annihilate no, train. It's fine. You just, there's no mouse to put next to him. So, yeah. So we'll see how he rolls. Um, yeah. uh, I got to say, I, I really love like your Iron Moth pick in round four. Yeah. I was really happy with Iron Moth personally. I, I just think he's a good enough mon. Like, uh, he's crazy. He's kind of crazy. He can't quiver dance, but that's fine. That's fine. Just, if he did, he'd be banned. Then... So, yeah. <laughs> I'm, already, right, yeah. I'm already cooking up sets. I want to run with him, so that's that's nice. Unlike the Landers, who I'm questioning if I really even should have picked him up. Like, obviously he's good, but Look, I mean, that's that's he's a little cheap. boring. That's Chief Johnson right there. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you need some boring because, I mean, you do have Clefable. That's I true. Know. And Vaporeon, who does, like, two things every. No, Vaporeon's got, like, moves that, like, so many new moves. I'm I'm so much happier than yeah, I was. You got even you a few... at home, uh, but now you're yeah. going to water, so that's kind of cool. I'm very excited have, to run this Vaporeon. Because we're legalizing BP. Yes. No, no, uh, no stat pass, anything like that. I'm, like, 90% sure Vaporeon is going to flip turn out anyways, but yeah. That's true. <laughs> Man, yeah, no, good core. Um, we'll see who. Uh, we'll see how those back six do. The frost moth down, crew. Yeah, because I did. I, mean, I did Reggie invest Steel a significant amount of points into bad mons. Mm. Reggie, yeah, Reggie Steel even Steel like. Cool. I, I think he'll be neat. Yeah. Probably not this upcoming week, but afterwards, who's to say? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll talk about uh, where the wild things are. Yeah, uh, Chris is yeah, doing uh, Great tusk going fourth overall which i mean is fitting it's like makes sense uh, the i think it was best, if we uh, didn't unban a few of the other dudes yeah uh i like our chaladon me too uh as a pick as a pokemon i think he's stupid looking but uh for what he could do he's pretty good at it especially for only 14 points i feel like that's a pretty good value pick oh absolutely yeah and then like i know he's not buff like, busted like, but it's good yeah, like suicune and zapdos for the fire and ground Mm. It's like that. For the fighting, I should say. Because that'll be the fire. Yeah. yeah. Does he have any way of setting up rain? So uh, I'm like, using rain dance. To use rain dance. I think mm. Bombi can learn rain dance. So, well, I know Wimps can. Yeah. yeah, that's only something to... I think Chris's team, though, has a pretty bad ice ground weakness, which is pretty common, but this one especially so. Like Tusk, Skeletorge, Archiladon, all weak to ground. Oh, sorry, not Tusk. Um, yeah. I keep thinking he's Iron Treads. <laughs> Which is wrong. That's not the right one. <laughs> to him, um, as a person. Yeah. And then you have, you know, Tusk, Zapdos. Pretty much everybody in that 10 down list, weak to ice. It's just, it's, Chris has to balance his defense a little bit, but I think the team as a core, like if he just brings a good core six of any of his, these dudes, he'll be in a really good spot. Like, I don't think there's any bad mons on that list whatsoever. No, not um, at all. Especially Red Ice at five points. I'm really excited to see if that one works out. Yeah. Yeah. Red Ice, we've seen how good the Reggies are in draft. So, yeah. yeah, we can't ignore Rabambi just being a great designated lead. You get webs up, you can stun spore, mm -hmm. you know, blast break sashes. And if, even if you don't use it as a lead, it's uh, it's just a really good fairy type, I think. Plus, you know, he still gets quiver dance. Kind of That's true. Wow, I forgot. Yeah. 
Uh, so continuing with the uh, the Drippin theme, uh, here's Tim who's got Drippin all over the place. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sure this did. team <laughs> is super cool because when everyone burned all their points, Tim said, "Nah, give me Diplin," which is <laughs> like. And for three cool points, I pick. think that's a crazy pick. That's so good. It's really good. Because then, you like, he was able to on this get, thing. They, like, he got okay. Lando I, his sweet Arcanine, and Galar Zapdos when everybody was running out of points. Yeah. No, Diplin with Eevee Light, uh, you know, recover. Thing never fucking dies. So Leech Seed. I'm pretty yeah. sure I have Leech Seed. You can drag and tail things out. I don't know. I don't think so. You know, I was when I was making the Apple team a while ago, I, I looked at Diplin and went, oh, that one's actually really heat compared to the others. Yeah. Like, I was surprised how strong it was for a little... It's not even a baby, but, you know, it can run a Violite, so... Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, Goldengo is there. That is the uh, yeah, that is the kingpin team. of the team, for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Cleaver has uh, got Stone Axe. Stone Axe is really cool. Does he have a Spike Setter? Um, I don't remember, but, I, I mean, he does have Cleaver. And Cleaver cannot get his rocks... You know, Cleaver, just like the uh, Samurai, you know, they have the special move that can't be stopped. So he will get his rocks up, and he has Goldango to block pretty much all hazard removal. So yes. very good combo there. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if Tim had, like, other, like, hazard guys, like, for spikes and, like, T-spikes and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like, that would be... I think it's definitely something to look at in free agency. Yeah, I would, Like, I would as the season goes on, kind of go into that, because, like, Goldango can really do some crazy stuff with that. Yeah. Get Glimlet. Glimlet game. Oh up. my god, that's gross. Don't say that, Mom. <laughs> but uh, overall, uh, I think we agree that Tim has a really good team. I probably yeah, I'm put excited up in the, for uh, it. the top five. Yeah, he even got his little mascot too, so he saved. He does. He does have. Yeah, team. shout out to him with Evie. Shout out Evie. Yeah. Uh, so we have Jordan with Nightmare on Mouse Street. I'm gonna be real. I was not paying attention to Jordan's draft. Uh, that's. <laughs> Pretty uh, <laughs> uh, I was because obviously uh, she was right before me. Uh, yeah, we right. all knew she wanted Dark Rai, so yep. you know that's fitting. Uh, and then here comes Latias and Ogre Pond Hearth Flame, which is just like obscene amounts of damage and potential. And then yeah. she followed it up with taking Toxapex for the defensive integrity, and then Ovola mm -hmm. Nine Tails to set screens. Yep. And then you know Breloom is you know sleep bot. Hi, like that. <laughs> Spore bot. And then of course you know he's got to have Mouse Hold. Uh, who is a demon? Yeah, no, I mean, sleep plus screens plus strong setup people. This mo this team can just run through you if you let it. Plus, mouse hold is the spinner on this team, so with yeah, idea, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> can't be stopped. One of the only ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, backing it up with two ghosts at the back there, I, I I like it. I don't know if Orkorio Sensu is the best one of them, but hey, it can still quiver just like all the other Orkorios. Yeah. For sure. And Palisand sure is uh, a guy. Palisand is a guy, but he can set up rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's like the oh, only rock. Set up rock. Right. Oh, it's the good. only mon she has that can set up stealth rock. Wow, that's so that's gonna that's be a, big. That's a pretty uh, big... Uh, I think that's yeah. what keeps Jordan's team from being like in the top five. I think it probably is closer to like six. Just because yeah. like, when your rocker is Palisand, like, that's not <laughs> ideal. That's problem, yeah. You can't commit either too hard to Toxic Spikes either because if you want... Uh, assuming you want to run a Dark Rai that sleeps, like, you have to be careful who you're statusing, pretty much. But yeah. I mean, this Dark Rai... You, you can still do it. still certainly worth it. Well, as I long as... If, like, you're running, like, heavy-duty boots, you can still put them to bed. Exactly. So. <clears throat> Which I assume will be a common item in this meta. Oh, for, I mean, for sure. I mean, it's... It's are very good. It's, so, it's, it's a broken concept. Uh, so, uh, hey Matt, it's your team. It's my team. Uh, so uh, I went into this draft. My only plan was I wanted to create all time slow, so I need to have slow king. Uh, a day before the draft, I was re I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know, Meowth is kind of broken, especially when it can uh, tear with its protein, right? Uh, I mean, he just has protein, uh, so it's like I don't really need to tear him. So I, then I can do that for everybody else. But, I was mainly uh, curious if it's stacked, but uh, it doesn't. Oh, never mind then. Uh, but yeah, cat can hazard stack. I mean, it's got triple axle now. U turn, knock off. off. Yeah. It's just Not really good trick, utility. Trick it does literally everything. Uh, yeah. so uh, it's very good. Uh, and then I did get a sloking. Not the one I wanted, Not but honestly, wanted. I can't complain. Uh, and then I got 
I wanted Ogre Pond Hearth Flame, and Jordan took it one pick uh, right before me. So I ended up going with Mence because I wanted it in V, but then I got them one pick. So and Mence is cool because there will be weeks where you don't want to run Intimidate, and therefore you can run Moxie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, and Mence can do make you run physical or run special. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that. And then, I mean, he trans the goat. Classic. Yeah, we love DPP. Yeah, yeah this is really just a DPP core, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I remember running uh, Salamence in, in DPP. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. And then uh, followed up with uh, just some some cool guys that kind of fill in unique roles. And dudes I've used before and I really like. Like Sandy Shocks and Cobalion have been uh, two staples on my old draft teams. And I love them. And now they're back again. Jump Bluff falls in that category. We got to shout out to Titan for being probably the best belly drum abuser in the game. You know, you have the Slow King Snow set up into belly drum, uh, Citrus Berry to Titan, and just slush rush it up and go crazy win the yeah. game on the spot kind of deal. Plus, you like, got Glaring Weezing for stopping any shenanigans. And you got your own shenanigans with Trevenant. So it's a I really good. Have my Even your lower pick Monza really. Yeah. Well, like, uh, one of the things about uh, so Titan that I liked over uh, Alolan Sandslash is. His abilities are crazy. Like, even if it's not Slush Rush, like, it's Thick, thick fat, fat, fat and yeah. Sheer Force, by yeah. the way. Yeah, both very strong. So, yeah. And even um, if you don't want to do any sweeping with him, I think his stats defensively are not half bad. He's 170 HP. Yeah. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I, I would like to talk about that. <laughs> All right. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, I like my team. Uh, it's cool. There's good vibes here. Uh, yeah. That's about it. Yeah. It's good. Uh, so, let's talk about Aaron's team next. Uh, fuck it, we vile. Fuck it, we ballin'. Uh, he's the guy who like Samurai in the third round, which is fucking... Yeah, crazy that I made it that far. Oh, I know. I also pretty crazy him, that he... Honest. He stole we He quote stole we vile with this pick. Like, JT in shambles as soon as we vile went down, which I think is very funny, because... <laughs> yeah, if Aaron didn't take we vile, I would have gotten glow King. Yep. Exactly. So we can blame Aaron again for for all the all the problems, but his team is a uh, his team feels like a Gen Five team, and then you slapped some uh, special formed mons onto it. Hold on, Where's, there's no dragon, there's no weather guy. No, no, I'm Gen sorry, 5 Gen, 5, you, Gen Five, <laughs> Gen Five, Gen Five, you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say, like, hold on, this is not this is not the Gen Five I've played. Yeah, no, not the drag bag, not the drag bag. Although he does have mag. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, he's got a lot of dark types, so he's kind of fighting weak and no ghost to kind of back it up. He's got Cress, yeah, helpful, claw but... Resist too. Cress oh, and true. Claude are pretty good walls. For yeah. The team. Um, um, and I like the Ditto pick a lot to stop the numerous amounts of setup sweeping happening. I feel like Aaron usually loses to getting setup swept, so this is a nice uh, little counter, counter pick for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And has a regenerator core of Mian Shao, though I really don't know if that's what it does anymore for 13 points. I mean, it's yeah. it's super good. It could do a lot of things. Like, it's got... Uh, I mean, obviously it has a regenerator. It, you know, it could be special. Got, it like, can, yeah. No, it has 105... Uh, sorry, it has 95 special attack. Yeah, like, he's he's fast, good pivot, knockoff. Like, it's a good run. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, really, I don't really have too much to add. I think... Uh, the don't, fighting don't weakness is a big problem, please. but <clears throat> good thing he can Terra. All his dudes can Terra and kind of. Pick and up. hopefully, Aaron remembers to set his Terras so that uh, way he doesn't just make himself still weak to fighting. I think Galar Moltres is going to just six zero somebody at one point. Yeah, uh, because yeah. that's I can see it. Yeah, he does. Aaron, Aaron, don't press Shed Tail. It's banned. Oh yes, please don't press Shed Tail. Hey guys, it's Caesar. 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 <laughs> it's funny because we were we were talking about Weezer a lot during the draft too. Yeah. <laughs> it really helps when someone sets their Caesar. background as the Weezer Blue album, but yeah. True. True. It was in my head all night. Yeah. So But we got Lily, a uh, new player on the block yes. for this season. Uh and she said, I'm gonna kill you. She drafted Adam's favorite mon right off the rip with Iron Valley. Yeah. I mean that's which a good mon. It's a good is a really, really good mon, even if it can't power like the support and it power does that it has everything. Oh. Like, and there's no way of knowing what it will do until it has yeah. already probably taken one of your mons too. Yeah. So. Is it physical? Is it special? Is it encore setup? Who's is it say? physical? Is it special? Is it encore? Setup? <laughs> yeah, right. Spoiler: It's always encore setup. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then you actually back it up with even more setup sweepers of Volcarona and Hisuian Logan. So there's the double dance core there, both physical and special. Yeah, so a lot of power right off the rip. Uh, and then Glamour is here to set hazards. So you set hazards and you go crazy with your guys. Yep. Uh, Infernape, another fire type, another frail Pokemon. Uh, Although this so one can focus energy. So yippee. <laughs> It's like Komodo's bulky, Scizor's pretty bulky, but like this kind of the extent of the defensive core yeah. that, that she has. Yeah. Uh, like the core of typing is there. Like you have Fairy Steel, Dragon, and Fire, Water, Grass, but it is outside of Lapras more offensively based for sure. Yeah. And while we have seen Spadef Scissor in the past and, you know, bulky sets for him, I kind of think his get his uh his time in that spotlight is over and he's back to doing what he I mean, he's going to have to do some to do. some defensive shit if he's... Yeah, gonna... he's going to have to do He has no choice. He has no choice. <laughs> uh, does he have Roost in this gen? Yes. Okay, does then, he... then I think he can. I don't know. Does I he know have he's default? the fog. No, I don't think it has wow. Support Scissor, we're so back. <laughs> and then uh, I really love the Lapras pick at, at six points. That was one of my, uh, my top picks if I couldn't get Vaporeon because it has Water Absorb. It got a ton of fun moves. It has Freeze Dry. Um... All sorts of support team moves for uh, for pretty low cost. Thick fat as an ability if you want it to, I think. So just can really take on those those ice types. I'm sorry, it doesn't have thick fat, but you know it's four times resisted anyways. Yeah, Lapras is uh, watching. And you got the biggest bitch there at seven. Uh, mouse hold light. Maybe mouse hold better. Who knows? I don't know. And then uh, kind of unsure about the hippo pick, but I'm sure that's more mascot I mean, than like, anything. Let's be honest. When you're in the one point. <laughs> Yeah, there yeah. ain't much. Uh, there ain't hippo, much. Even like Hippo, there's her other defensive piece. You know? yeah. Actually, Kamo yeah. gets overcoat, so Hippo. <laughs> That's not terrible. Uh, but overall, I think Lily is a very, very strong team that is definitely going to win games. Uh, but with like the draft, like everyone can like super prepare for things. Uh, we yeah. found like the setup spam doesn't always work out. But I mean, with these strong of setup uh, sweepers, I think. Uh, I think that will be able uh, to break through a lot of teams. Yeah. Bit. Yeah. You know. We'll uh, move on to uh, Bannon, the uh, the ace attorney. We got Cinderace here. Yep. Uh, I think this team goes absolutely insane. Yeah, this team is nuts. Uh, it's probably, I think, top five. For sure. Like, I want to put this team high. Like, I really, really, really do. Um, it's probably one of the only balanced teams, like really balanced or even defensive teams here, because you've got Gliscor, Garg, Wochien, Snorlax, yeah. like lots of big dudes. Yeah. And like you have the really strong pivoting with uh, with Ace and Aleki. Mm -hmm. uh, and Lio's having a flip turn too. Uh, and then it's like you do so much passive damage and then you just win the game with Quack Quack Ball. And... Yeah, once you chip everything, you just step and Moxie and. Yep, and go Moxie crazy, and yeah. You, and you stunt. Yeah. And that's pretty neat. So yep. uh, I like Doesn't a bunch of mods that can't Terra though. I think the most on the out of anybody. I think so too. Yeah. At Who 30. needs Terra when you can just be swag? Yeah. Right. I mean you see how uh, Yeah. Time. Remember your uh your covert cloaks people. Garkenackle's yeah. gonna garg you. Yeah, you're gonna get gargled. We're gonna get gargled. But Someone's getting gargled. Uh running covert cloak, uh you're gonna step on all Gliscor spikes. Exactly. So mm -hmm. just be be mindful. Yep. Anyway, let's talk about Ernest teams. Uh, the Knights of the Round Table. These guys. I call everyone's crazy. 15 points at the top here. <laughs> <laughs> they really are all knights. <laughs> they are. Knights knights, and good night. <laughs> yeah, this team's great. Um, outside of Ambipom. That's all yeah. I've got. Yeah. It's a lovely team. I, uh, yeah, Kumfu's here. He's the mascot. Um, <laughs> yeah, this it's just good. Honestly, I don't really got much to add on to it. Yeah, either. a lot of strong guys. I think Keldeo is going to go crazy. Uh, I do think there's maybe one issue with this team on the rip, is that if you don't bring Deancey, you kind of got to, you know, who's taking the dragon moves if you're, you know, if you've got the mods to send them? Because you've got to send in King Gambit, basically, or Galarian Slowbro, if you're Galarian, feeling good. Yeah. But neither of them can heal, so. Galarian Slowbro's regenerator. Yeah. Oh, does he actually? Yeah, I think so. He does. Good for him. Yeah. Um, I think the only problem with this team is that your only rockers are Don Fan and Diancy, which aren't the best mons, but they can probably make do. 
Um, and then there's spikes. Unless Donphan can get spikes, but I don't remember I think, if he can. Can Donphan spike? I don't know. I think you guys are gen three pilled. Spikes are not everything anymore. They're great. No, They're certainly hazards, great. Hazards are very uh, that's just wrong. But you can you can substitute having spikes with your rocks. You know. Right. What I, what I'm saying is that you know unless you want to run Stealth Rock King Gambit, you have to bring Donphan or Diancy. That means right. you, you know the opportunity cost of bringing them is a little bit mid. Yeah, I wish Diancy was better. Um, it's I mean, it's it's nine points. They gave it quite a lot of value for got, something um, that. Uh, I mean, Diamond Storm is good. Yeah. Diamond Storm body press can tear away your steel. away your steel super weakness. Yeah. Exactly. So, oh, we'll see. Uh, all right, let's talk about Hall's team because we've definitely got some guys <laughs> I don't, here. I don't know how, what to talk about here. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, happening? Kidding. Hall always manages to put together the most ugly team possible, and yeah. then they work. <laughs> I, I'm not I don't even. Know. Uh, I don't know about. I got this nothing. One. Yeah. We all hate that first pick, though, right? Paul wanted Ron Bungus, but Will took him away. Unfortunately. Uh, I mean, I don't hate an Amorous as an a first round pick because it's a broken Pokemon. Yep. No, we hate it design wise. Oh, vibes wise, yeah, no. Yeah, the vibes. The vibes immediately made me want to throw up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Contrary, I believe, is that one, and it comes with a lovely Grim Snarl uh, screens Get package. Screens. So enjoy. Get your sword oh. powered Mew. Mm -hmm. Your armor rouge bullshit. His super uh -huh. He's got some fat guys. He can, he can sleep people with Bonnet. You know his Ungi Badungi. Ungi Badungi. Got sticky webs and Masquerain. Did end up getting, getting a, one of the only unaware mons in Quagsire too, which is pretty nice for the value pick. Yeah, uh, he's got a lot of like pieces that. Are important yeah. toward team building. I do yeah. wonder what he's going to do against somebody running like Ice Spinner. Go into Hisui Gudra and take take Stone take twenty. Houndstone and eat every move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sand sweep, Paul. Fluffy is the wave. Uh, let's talk about JT's team. Uh, back to December. You can, uh, his wife definitely uh, rubbing off on him with the T Swift. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is this number, is this number one stream? Uh, uh, I'll, I'll let that go. True. Very true, Corey. Uh, I love Embor. He's great. Yeah. I didn't realize Mandibuzz was 15 points, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, JT says, I can't believe I got Mandibuzz. I think it's because nobody wanted to take a 15 point wall like that. But at the end of the yeah, day, it does, good. It does have good. everything you want in a wall. So. Yeah. Like, Calgary, you can't break it. Like, like, yeah. Knock, roost, defog. Yeah, you just you just roost, you stay at like 100% and you just live forever. And you have overcoat, so you can't even take, you know, you ignore spores without having the tower or bring safety goggles. It's yeah. Like a great mod. And he's but, got the coach rule, so. Exactly. Tim, look yeah. out, he can spore you. Yeah, he'll put you to bed. I do think, um, I do think this team is at the, at the end of the day, this team can do a lot of different things. Like you have your webs, you have your rocks, I believe he has his spike somewhere. Um, oh, cool. yeah. yeah. He has a snow team if he wants to. He has just a fat team if he doesn't want to. He's got comfy, which will basically never let him lose to dragons. Like The team's got a lot of, of great mons. I just wonder if it's missing out on, like, like outside of Caliber, it's really missing a big killer. I was thinking the same thing. Which is why yeah. it looks like a I JT team, because he never has, like, the big damage guys that like characterize like like a lot of teams where it's like all right they have the defensive pieces but they also have like one or two just like you know murder right. i mean when you have when you have back scalibur like that does a pretty good job yeah. oh, like, does a special side. Job. like and then he's got dd flag on you know yeah. can I'm talking do like something. special attacking wise oh yeah he's got no special offense except like empo i think it's actually I mean, comfy is the best special offense I mean, <laughs> yeah. glow king and empo have high special attack stats, but like, that's true. not You're what they're really going to do. Most throw of them. Up no, they players. should be built more defensively to help the team out, because if they're offensive, then they're just going to crack. Um, he does have a couple fan favorites from VGC and Tinkatong and Tatsugiri. I wouldn't call um, Tatsugiri a fan favorite. Fan favorite, thank you, Crispy Will, I got you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Tinkatong's mid. He's got yeah. a hammer. I like, I like it, though. I like Moldbreaker Stealth Rock. Moldbreaker, yeah. Yeah. And it still has knock. Like, it's one of his few knockers, I think. So. 
Hit the fairy. He has two points left to work with if he wants to at some point drop Dunsparce for something else. That's true. We can trade <laughs> Literally up. anything. <laughs> uh, so we get into our last three teams. We got Adam walking on the sun. Uh, Adam has once again off. put together a sun team. <laughs> Despite his best effort. Despite his best effort, he said Gouging Fire was here. All right, we're so back. <laughs> yeah, like you can't let that thing go. No. Nah. Um, uh, interesting second on... round pick in Bundy. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw it, I was wondering where Adam was going with it. I thought maybe, oh, he just wants Prankster Sunday Day. Sure. But then I remember that's not, that. That's not the Prankster one, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it is the Prankster yeah. one. Ooh. Yeah. You specifically said, give me the Prankster one. Oh, I looked. I keep thinking it's the other one. I'm gonna get these two mixed up for a while. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. No, uh, this one. This one's great for helping out with the sunny day. Then, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You kill. Uh, kill the waters. Uh, I'm just gonna be straight up. Arcanine in the third round is a terrible decision, and he got bailed out by Walking Wake being there in the fifth. <laughs> That's it. I do think that Arcanine is at least good for the team, though. Um, uh, in terms of just being able to like. Like, look at his team and ask yourself, like, where where's the uh, physical walls? And you're like, oh, maybe it's Torkoal. Blastoise and Torkoal. Blastoise. And Things that can't recover. So having an Intimidator could at least help those three keep their survival intact. If he wants to bring it, like, that nice. variation of it. Yeah. Plus, I believe Arcanine... Have teleport anymore. I didn't wow. know Arcanine ever Arcanine had got teleport in Gen 8 uh, from That's a funny. Let's Go. Uh, so that was funny. Uh, he doesn't have that anymore, so he can kind of wall things. But then you also think, like, Gouging Fire is going to be here most weeks. Torkoal is going to be here most weeks. Actually, yeah, I just so remember so probably... like, Arcanine is not going to find his way. Arcanine is probably one of his only wall. It's probably the only thing that has recovery outside of Gardevoir. It has Morning Sun in the sun. Gouging Fire has Morning Sun as well. Does he actually? Yeah, oh, yeah, my God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Arcanine oh, is no. just... Gouging Fire is just better. It's just better. Than everything. And this can totally that's do something That's insane. Better. Because there are great 11 point mods left. Yeah. If, yeah, I, I don't hate it then. Uh, anyway, wow, it gets Morning Sun. That's wrong. Uh, despite <laughs> shitting on Arcanine, uh, the rest of the seems seems fine. I think it's good. Yeah. Walking Wake is going to go Walking crazy. Walking Wake is crazy. Gouging Fire is crazy. He got Torkoal seven picks in. Yeah, shout out Torkoal and Vulpix on the team. The yeah, certified Vulpix US Marine is Vulpix. The mascot. Oh, yeah. I bet Vulpix shows up one of these games. Oh, for sure. I don't know, man. Oh, put a dollar on it. <laughs> All right, and we got Ethan's team. Uh, Ethan does not have a team name yet. No, he Ethan, is, pick your team name. He is a sleepy boy. Uh, His team is not sleepy, room. though. That is heat. He has Sneasler. Oh. Look, he's got some dudes that are going to set up, and they're going to kill you. As oh, we I learned from last season, oh, Ethan right. loves to stack statistics. Oh, yeah, he's got a speed boost guy again. He's got Funny. a speed boost. Uh, Most importantly, time, Ethan's just playing Little Cup again with Zoroark and uh, Grafii and Sinistra, but you know, a little different, a little bigger. slightly more evolved variations of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I think he'll, he already kind of understands how his team works with those three, which will be fun. Yeah, I mean, he got some H decent spiker in Klefki screen. Decent, I think that thing's fantastic at spiking. Like if that's no, the you, one, no, you're thing absolutely it does right. right. <laughs> um, Rockers are colossal and Doug probably. Maybe. Yeah. I imagine Doug. Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah, that kind of is unfortunate. Yeah. But... Yeah. No. No, he doesn't have like that HO lead to like get the hazards up. He has screens, sure. Mm hmm. I, for I forgot where Corio can quick dance too. So like, mm -hmm. he's gonna get up screens. He's gonna set up. And he's gonna kill you. Uh, good yeah, thing that uh, can't take heart because that would be absurd. Yeah. So, He'll just have to suffer and tail glow instead. I know, poor guy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of potential here. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Uh, and Corey, you have assembled uh, Brick 182. Yep, I did. My whole plan this uh, this season is I wanted Raging Bolt. Uh, I was very nervous through the past week that someone was going to steal him from me, but I got him. Uh, so he's tommed along. I don't know who would ever do that. And I got Travis Barker, the real boom. He's a drummer. And then Mark Hoopus. Uh, it's Hoopa Unbound. And then the rest I just kind of started filling in. Shout out Blossom for being Pokemon number 182. Yippee! I feel like I'll that talk was to that. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so these are the dudes. I didn't really have a plan after getting my three guys. Besides, like, oh, I have Grassy Train. Hall Lucha can just kind of sometimes get in, boost, and sweep. Um, but I think Hat will be nice to try and keep rocks and hazards off of me, or at least threaten to. Um, I'll have the option to go into Trick Room mode, because my dudes aren't very fast. Um, it's yeah, uh, the last pick of Skarm was like, uh, maybe I want a little, you know, an anchor for my team a little bit, and a way to get spikes. And so I did that for Tim. You can't go wrong with the goat. True. Uh, so yeah, that was our, that was our draft. That was fun. Uh, definitely very excited uh, for the season. Uh, let's see if we got a, got a schedule up here. Go through this. So this is my first time looking at schedule actually. So let's see. I have to we play JT some, round one. That's crazy. Again. There's some interesting uh, round one matchups. So this will be. This yeah, will, be Will versus one. Ernest. Um, Bannon versus Aaron. That'll be an interesting one to watch. The Lily. That'll be an offensive slugfest. This will be good. Yeah. It'll be a good time. Yeah. Who do you have first, Matt? Uh, I play Jordan first. So. Ah. He's gonna kill Jordan. Probably. I could. I could. <laughs> so. Look out, it's, uh, yeah. But yeah. this is the week where nobody really no one has, has any a good idea yet. What's, what's going on. So we're going to have it's a good true. time. It's going to be great. So, like, you know, two people are going to get guaranteed dubs because they've played the format, or at least similar. And the rest of us are going to figure it out real fast. The people that actually play the format the most are David and Lily. That's funny. So. Probably, yeah. <laughs> They're playing each other. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yep. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, we'll have the uh, the Gen 3 playoff stuff out uh, soon. Probably. Uh, we just got to sit down and do that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that's a that's a story for another day. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, sorry about the music in the background. Uh, my, my internet's been incredibly slow. But uh, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, bye.